Hi everyone, welcome back to Staffordshire Car Care. My name is Craig and I know we've had a little short break on the videos, but here we are and we've got some question and answers coming up in this video, so stay tuned. So as previously mentioned, we have been quite quiet on the videos and this is because we have been very busy uh, in the studio to the point where we've had to open up another studio specifically for our paint protection film installations. As you can see we have the laptop there with the Geon paint protection film software on there that allows us to obtain the database for patterns for your car. So if you have a Porsche, you have a BMW, you have a Mercedes, stand a chance that on that database there is going to be your make and model and we can plot those patterns off specifically for your car. Uh, plotting, there is the plotter, as you can see it just feeds the material which is the paint protection film through into the machine and based on the software we'll cut the pattern and we weed it, take the bits that we don't want, keep the bits that we do want lay it out on the wall as you can see and then we peel it off and place it on your car, nice and simple in theory but there you go that is the paint protection film studio and still back in the original studio which is where we take care of all our detailing and ceramic coating take a look Right then, it's March 2023 and the new registrations are coming through. Behind us we have the Porsche Cayenne and the Porsche Taycan, both having new car preparation treatments, which is ceramic coating to the paint, the wheels, arches, calipers. We will coat the glass, also all the plastic trim, the interior leather fabric, so the whole car is nice and protected. As normal, we'll be answering your questions and here is one of them. Right then, so one of the questions we were asked is what do you use to polish the cars? And it is quite simple. So this is our little trolley. There's a bin just there and we have the polishing range from Gion, amongst other things. So we put our dirty pads in there once they've been used and we have our masking tapes and things that we need to save the car getting damaged with the edges of the polishing pad or the backing plate. We have little cotton wool buds, cocktail sticks and things like that to pick out any polish that is stuck into all those awkward areas. We have a combination of Compound Plus, which is a really coarse uh, compound. We have Compound, which is obviously working your way down to the lighter end, which is your primer, which has a little bit of silica dioxide in there, so it'll leave a kind of protective layer behind uh, as you refine him, and we have our alcohol bottles there just to degrease and wipe down the panels prior to coating amongst the compressor any extension needs and things like that so that's our trolley uh, not to forget the scan grip light which is the most important thing is that allows us to see those defects that are on the paint and considering this is a brand new car we've got a little bit of work to do there as well so yeah hope that answers the question this is all the things that you need, or we need, to polish our cars. Tut, tut, tut. Oh, they're a lovely car. So not many people are gonna be a fan of the old electric car, but I am, and I love them. So, let me pull the car off and we're going to get it in position to do our final checks carefully carefully and then yeah we'll do our final checks I'm just going to pull it off see if I can get the car just okay so lucky for us in the lovely UK we are experiencing a tiny bit of snow customer couldn't come we we're coming from London to have some PPF the interior console of their Porsche Macan we had to cancel that one until another day so 
Porsche Macan is in position, uh, sorry, Taycan is in position, and then we're gonna pull the Porsche Macan in for preparations for PPF. So on to another job. Here we have the Porsche Macan in black. This one here is having paint protection film applied to the bonnet from bumper, wings, mirrors. Also ceramic coating from Gion. Q2 Infinite base type one is gonna be installed on everywhere that hasn't got paint protection film. Over in, in the other unit is a Porsche Taycan in white. There is some damage being incurred to the bonnet area. As you can see, I don't know if that's caused by a stone chip or he's seen something on the bonnet and got to a bit too close with the pressure washer, but ultimately we're going to be pulling all the old film off and replacing it with a brand new piece. And we'll also show you what's involved with that as well. And we're gonna head over to another question. Here we go. Keep, <laughs> you nearly went. <laughs> right, so we've answered, the, I think we've answered this question before, I think on a previous video and I'll put a link in the corners. What is the difference between PPF and ceramic coating? Now one is a liquid, which is the ceramic coating. You take it out of the bottle, or take the lid off, and you pour it onto the pad, and you apply it to the car, methodically buff it off, cure it, and that will do that job. The second one is paint protection film, which is a clear film. Can Ethan, my sexy assistant, can you pass me a blade? knife, standing knife thing that the, in the third, third drawer down. Uh, this is paint protection film. This is what is applied to the car, as you can see in a previous video, which I'll put a link up above. Uh, it is strong, so it is, we're trying to push essentially that through the film. And imagine that being a stone or a scrape or a wall or something like that. It's gonna be very difficult to perforate through the film, which is essentially going to protect your paint underneath. Obviously, incredibly sharp objects will tear it and do all that kind of stuff. So to answer the question, what is the difference between ceramic coating and PPF? One is a liquid and one is this. Right then, so over in the PPF bay, we have this Porsche Taken having the bonnet film replaced, and that is due to some damage just there. So something's either come up and flicked it and hit it. So we'll steam that off and replace the whole bonnet. So pull in the film underneath. is just glue. Like new underneath. So we'll replace this and get a new piece stuck back on. Okay, so that is the Porsche Taycan all finished. What is it had? It has had a new car protection treatment comprising of ceramic coating to the paint, the trim, the wheels, calipers and arches, the glass, interior fabrics and leather has all been coated too. We've got about an hour before the customer comes and collects. All the documentation and paintwork is ready and I'll bring you in and show you what that is. Okay, so in your handover pack, you'll have all the information you need on how to maintain the car, a maintenance guide, your coating information that tells you what coating you had and when it was installed, a warranty card information should you have our certified five-year ceramic coating product and and then you can pick all the products if should you need them. There's a few bits missing because I haven't replenished the shelves. But there we go. That is the Porsche Taycan all finished.
that was the Porsche Taycan. That has just left another happy customer. Also coming up is this Range Rover Evoque having a new car paint protection treatment as well as wheels, glass, trim. Everyone just kind of picks everything, which if you want to know how to get a quote and want to select some protection uh, options yourself, head over to the website, www.staffordshirecarcare.co.uk, which you head over to get quote and you can pick all the separate options that you require, plus any PPF you require or any questions you may ask. So head over to there. So back to the Range Rover, having a new car paint protection treatment, glass, yeah, everything. Um, 2023, that's what we seem to be getting a lot of at the moment. Ethan's just finishing up the Porsche Macan with ceramic coatings and we'll show you what this car looks like when it's finished. So we've made it to Thursday. It is 4.27 p.m. The Porsche Macan brand new car has now, well, nearly finished. We've fitted the PPF to the bonnet and the bumper headlights these tiny little wings and the wing mirrors. Ethan right now is putting paint, ceramic coating on the paint. Uh, infinite base type one, which is a five year ceramic coating. Um, yeah, the car will be going out first thing in the morning. So final checks to be done, paperwork to get ready, and this will be going out very soon. And this is what it looks like now it's been finished. <laughs> Question, more question. And it came through our Instagram and it was a young lad called Greg. And it was uh, Greg, as you may have seen in our previous videos, is the handsome chap polishing the cars. Um, we've got an ugly chap now, fortunately. But he says, do you miss Gregory? And we do actually. We miss, what do we miss? The, um, I'm trying to think what we miss. <laughs> no, we really do miss him. But I hope you all the best, Greg, and we hope you're happy doing whatever it is that you're doing. But this is the new kid on the block, Ethan. He's young, fresh. Um, we'll, we'll burn him out, and then we'll exchange him for another young man, uh, or, per, or young lady, doesn't matter, um, either, whichever. Um, so, thank you ever so much for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheerio. Cheerio.